So what you're looking at is the Holly High Rim for the Coyote engine, uh, something that they've just recently released to the public for availability. Probably around six or eight months, we've been working on this intercooler uh, for this intake manifold. We wanted to not only make uh, an intercooler for this, but we wanted to make it a little different. We wanted to incorporate some of those changes into this, this Coyote intercooler. So we spent a lot of time in, in R&D. Uh, overall, height-wise and dimensionally, it's it's pretty accurate to uh, the final product. Uh, so one of the one of the things about this manifold is that the runners stick up past the flange on the base. So where the seal and the the, the bottom manifold meet together, the lower runners stick up past that mounting point. Uh, well, that adds a hurdle to putting an intercooler on it because now you've got to get up above those runners to be able to put your core in because you know it's flat. Um, and it's, it's not going to hang down in there without contacting. So what we had to do was make a spacer to go under the intercooler. And um, uh, so what we, what we settled on is a spacer that is just enough spacer to get the intercooler over the top of the runners. And what that does is it gives the aftermarket uh, a spacer option as well. Uh, it'll be an inch and three quarters thick. Give them some plenum volume if they need it. They can bolt this uh, spacer on directly to the base and bolt the lid onto it and just have a, a, a spacer under their lid. So that, that made that part dual purpose. And then we went to the designing on the intercooler itself. We decided to, our first, our first cooler for this manifold was gonna be a high horsepower cooler because we already had added height from the spacer um, and we knew that, that it was just gonna be tall overall. So we decided to go with a four and a half inch core in this. Uh, it is excessively long and excessively wide compared to the other Holly offerings as far as the core dimensions, uh, which actually lands this thing in, a, in around a 2,500 horsepower rating, uh, which is which is massive and make it our biggest uh, horsepower rated intercooler that we have. You get a four and a half inch core, an inch and three quarter spacer, uh, and your total added height is only five and three quarters of an inch. Minimal added height, as I like to call it, uh, with, with the maximum core size available. But because of their nice low profile top, and the fact that the, the lower isn't all that high, uh, it actually gives you less less height than a standard high ram with a cooler. Uh, one thing to note on this cooler, as you can see on this back, there is no port. Uh, traditionally, we do dual ports front and rear. Uh, and this manifold will not be able to have that because we have put so much core in it that there's literally not enough room uh, on this end of this plate to get a fitting in there. If you could get a fitting in there, you're talking like a dash four. That's how that's how much that's how little room there is between the end of the core and the and the back of the manifold itself. So we have dual inlets on the front to give you an option in the front, but the only outlet or inlet in the rear is going to be on the passenger side. Uh, so we're doing a pre-sale on these things. Uh, we're giving a hundred dollars off on it right now. At the time of this video, we're around ninety days to production on this unit, uh, but we're wanting to do a pre-sale to gauge the market a little bit. So that way we know how many we need to be making. Uh, so we're doing a pre-sale. That way we can see just how many of you guys are interested in something like this. And uh, that way we can, we can adjust our production numbers accordingly.